Can I have your attention? You're all dismissed. Bankrupt. Better luck with your next job. I am not a stranger to the dark. <sighs> this is not the life I promised you. Not even close. Because we don't want your broken parts. Girls, I think I've had an idea. Look out, because here I come. P.T. Barnum, at your service. I'm putting together a show. Doing a movie musical is one of the hardest things you can pull off in the business. And it's really about the director. Um, and I just worked with Michael Gracie, who's a very, very successful, well-known commercials director and music video director. I had a feeling that he was going to be a great director and I wanted to work with him. And on the last day of filming, we rats, high fives, hugs, and I said, uh, we should do a film together. And he looked at me, he's an Aussie, and we know each other well, and he goes, yeah, whatever, Jackman. I said, oh, fine, you don't have to do a movie with me if you don't want it. And he goes, L listen, here's the deal. I've been doing commercials for 10 years, and I don't know what it is, but you actors on the last day, I don't know if you're trying to be nice or you get caught up in the moment, but every actor says, we should do a movie together. Now, it's nice, but for the first five years, I would ring my mum immediately and say, George Clooney wants to do a movie with me. Leonardo DiCaprio wants to... Of course, none of those movies ever came to me. <laughs> so, whatever. I'm putting together a show. And I need a star. Six months later, after Larry Mark came to me with this idea and we had a script, I sent it to him and he rang me back immediately. He goes, holy. <clears throat> Every one of us is special. And nobody is like any one of us. That's the point of my show. He developed pretty quickly the famous Michael Gracie pitch. Now, it's a, the, Michael Gracie does a pitch where, honestly, he's better than I've ever been playing P.T. Barnum. It's 45 minutes, and he tells a story, and he had an artist friend of his draw these beautiful concept art. He, we, at this point, had three songs, so he had three songs to, for people to listen to, and he would talk them through the, the movie. He did 1,000 of these pitches to producers, musicians, studio heads, actors, anyone who would listen, who he thought might help get the movie made, he gave the pitch to. Um, and there was not one person he pitched to who didn't buy in after the 45 minutes. So trade that to go. Take that away. Okay, here we go. Okay. He's the world. He says his client is that what makes it fun. And then he he's just take his lead. He This whole idea of a family of, of misfits coming together and suddenly realizing the power that they have and believing in themselves. No longer, they're no longer in the shadows. They're, they're out, you know, celebrating. They're proud of who they are after they meet PT. And um, that's truly beautiful. It's just a beautiful message. This is me. 
the dancing. I'm pretty sure hip hop wasn't a thing yet, uh, but there's lots of hip hop dancing in this, which I think is really dope. Every word reflects what these characters are going through, what they're feeling, you know? And, and so when you're singing them, you can really fall into the character because it's just so, everything that they're feeling, they're just, it just is coming out. And, and so many people can relate to, you know, those kinds of, th those songs. Yeah, can you, can you get yourself back? Can you get yourself back to city? There's a billion different things that somebody can leave with that, and I just think that you know everybody's going to be able to relate to it a different way, um, and hopefully leave with a very fantastical, um, magical experience, and just probably leave singing and dancing, and <laughs> you know. Every one of us is special, and nobody is like anyone else. That's the point of my show. Ready? Showtime. Difference by being like everyone else. This is me.